Roll for Romance is a podcast featuring four friends thirsty for D4s. And welcome to Roll for Romance. I'm Emily and I'm your GM for today. And we are playing a game that I created called Shot Through the Heart. Let's dive right in. It's a sexy spy adventure where our agents are going to go on a special mission. I'm Holly and today I'm playing Morgan, who is a tech specialist with the code name Wicked Death. Wicked Death. I'm Wicked gorgeous. Death. Much like... Gal Gadot. I thought you were going to say much like real life. And I was yeah, like, well, yes. yeah, well, 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 I mean, of course. Hype <laughs> yourself yes. up. Good. I like it. <laughs> Confidence yeah. plus four. I am a tech specialist. Ooh, tech specialist. Nerd. nerd alert. Yes. Super okay. hot nerd alert. The best kind. Hey, what's up? I'm Desiree. And I'm playing an assassin whose code name is Dark Whisper. She is named Regina Vagina. Yes. Of the New England Vaginas. But she looks exactly like Marilyn Monroe from Gentlemen Preferred Blondes. Perfect. And we also have a very special guest. Our wonderful dear friend Sonia is here. Sonia. Hello, uh, Rule for Romance audience. It's nice to meet you all. So today I will be playing a character whose codename is Hidden Phoenix. She goes by Yvette. Uh, physically, you should think of her as Edna Mode. Yes. She is uh, petite with uh, short, dark hair uh, and uh, big glasses, although no one actually knows if she needs the glasses or if they're just part of her many disguises. Ooh. Her agent type is Master of Disguise. And, oh, are we doing the uh, entanglement also? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Let's talk a little bit about relationship history. So tell us... About your feelings about your fellow agents. <laughs> so Regina has broken my heart. It's just, it's still too fresh. I can't talk about it. But, you know, I just really wanted that to work and it did not. So um, she has broken my heart. And and I think actually she's she's completely moved on. I, I, I'm fairly certain that she has an interest in someone else, possibly even within our agency. <gasps> Scandalous. However, Wicked Death and I used to be a thing. Oh, you know, but uh, it, we we agreed that it, it was not a good idea for us to continue to see each other. Uh, she agreed. That's very mature. That's a very mature. Well, oh wait, <laughs> it isn't. Yeah. Uh, well, what's your side of the story, Morgan? I was blindsided <gasps> by Yvette's sudden and quite hurtful breakup with me. I worshipped. The ground her tiny little feet pattered across. <laughs> and one morning after croissant <laughs> and caviole, she said, darling, this must end. This must end. I gathered my belongings and I stormed out of our suite. And things have been tense ever since. Oh, wow. So how do you factor into the equation? Regina. Regina. <laughs> Regina. <laughs> okay, so, yes, I broke Yvette's heart. Is that your name? Yvette. I don't remember. <laughs> That's how much she cares. Wow. That is exactly how she broke my heart. She does not remember my name. And now I have feelings for someone else, Ooh. but they don't know. <gasps> yes. And I feel a lot of love for myself as well. That's wonderful to hear. Sure. It it's important to love yourself. And on that note, <laughs> let's get to the mission briefing. So you all are members of SHOT, S-H-O-T, which stands for... Sexy... Super. Super. <laughs> stands for... Super sexy. <laughs> <laughs> super hot, hot opportunity. opportunity. Yay! Yeah, I Shut know what you are. <laughs> There's going to be constant gun sound effects. <laughs> SHOT agents, I have a special mission for you today. You don't get a choice on as to whether you accept it or not. You just have to do it. I wasn't going to do this in character. I was just literally going to tell you what the information was, but here we go. You're in character We need you now. to retrieve a dangerous drug from the upscale casino, the Stardust. This drug's street name is Blot, and it is used to erase people's memories. No, what if I was already kidding? <laughs> I think maybe you <laughs> took and taken too much blot already. <laughs> 
we need to retrieve this case of blot before it can be handed off to an investor. We don't know what this investor's name is. We don't know any information about them. But the scientist who has created the drug will be at the casino there before he does the handoff. And you need to somehow figure out a way to get through his security to his case containing the blot and get out without being made. So, what would you like to do to prepare do we know who the investor is? You do not. You could... I'm going to say that I won't even make you a heavy roll for that. It's just something that they have not been able to get the intelligence on. It's very mysterious, but you do know that the investor is paying for the scientist, whose name is Dr. Alexander Thorne. Kind of his his experience at the casino. So he's in a... Fa- he'll probably be in some kind of fancy suite. He'll be living the life as he gets ready to hand off his drug and get a boatload of money. To look for the really excited scientist. Yeah, you can get. I can give you a physical description of him too. Besides I just, just the name. Assumed he'd be wearing a lab coat. I mean, yes. <laughs> Everyone on this game is very straightforward, and they have to wear exactly what their, their name. Okay, so uh, the person's name again was Dr. Alexander Thorne. He is around thirty-six years old. He is thin, fairly tall. From what you've heard, he tends to dress in a little bit of disheveled clothing, not the most put together. He seems to have a nervous personality type, and that is the profile that you have on him. He is uh, very pale, has blondish, like dirty blonde hair that goes to about chin length. And he wears glasses because he's a nerd. (laughs) All scientists wear glasses. All scientists are nerds. (laughs) Yeah, hey, hot scientists, please send pictures to refute this erroneous statement. <laughs> you don't know if he's hot or not. He could be hot. Roll for hotness. Okay, I'll, I don't have a die for that, but I'll roll Just a roll D8. Okay, your, I'll roll a D8 to see all of your he is. At, he's at, like, not ugly, but he's also not incredibly hot. He'd okay. probably clean up. He's a, he's a sick. Clean he's up well. Nice. Yeah. Or grime up. We could grime him. Grime yeah, him up. Yeah. He <laughs> might actually be a good candidate for griming Ooh. up to look a little bit better. <laughs> but yes. Other than that, the, the psychological profile on him is essentially that he is very nervous, not very trusting of most people that he meets. Doesn't hasn't really seems like he's been pretty stressed and hasn't had a chance to unwind in a while. Maybe he should take some blot. Maybe he should take some maybe he's been taking too much blot. <laughs> is he single? He is single, yes. Single and ready to mingle. Starting with Holly, what is something that you think Morgan would do to prepare? Morgan would definitely want to figure out a way to hack into the casino security system. Incredible. Yes. So go ahead and roll a decipher roll for me. So you're going to roll your d4s for that you have in the stat for decipher and then get the highest number. A four is the highest four. number. Four! Okay, so you get a complete success on that. Amazing. So nice. you can you get pretty much a whole schematic layout of where all the security cameras are in the casino through your mysterious ways. You get the location of where the security office is that you would need to go in if you wanted to do anything to tamper with the cameras. And I would say that you could probably create some kind of device to assist you with this tampering with the security there. You describe for me what you think that device would do. She would want the device to not only be able to access cameras, Mm -hmm. but also be able to cut power to Mm -hmm. specific sections. Amazing. Yes, of the casino at certain. Okay. So yeah, you figured out how to tap into the power grid. Yes. Remotely. And then also control maybe where the the cameras are angled at a moment. What about Yvette? What would you like to do? If I was going to use my strength of Master of Disguise, I was gonna see if hey like we don't know who that buyer is so i was gonna see if i could insert myself into it into his you know process and take it from him as though i were the buyer yes okay um i can't think of i mean like since we have no idea what the buyer looks like but maybe then again neither does thorn so exactly I am absolutely open to suggestions. Yeah, uh, so that's, I think you're on a really good track. So if you make the assumption that he doesn't know who this investor, what he looks like, who he's going to be handing the stuff off to, you could definitely try to come up with a disguise that you think would be convincing as the investor. Try to come up with like some credentials or whatever for like proving that you're that person that are fabricated. You could just prepare disguises in mm-hmm. general for different yeah, types of I think staff. I'll prep, yeah, and I guess I'll have to prep what like. A fake 
uh, fake payment uh, of some variety. Yes, exactly. So, okay. You'd have to get something, some kind of fake cool. payment. Okay. I will take some steps then to be able to pass myself off as the buyer. So go ahead and roll for me your deception check. That will be a three. A three. Okay. So it's a partial success. You very easily have access to fake money through the shot agency. It's tough being able to figure out exactly what kind of disguise to have when you don't know who the person is. You put something together and you're somewhat confident in it, but it's not your best work and you're not, you're intelligent enough to know that you probably, it's could go either way, whether the disguise is actually gonna convince somebody that you are this mysterious investor. So could work, could not work, it's a risk. And then we have our lovely Regina. So I think everybody else's stuff is really good. So I'm thinking my role will probably be like distraction Mm -hmm. and getting like, I think I'll probably try to find the scientist and get information from him. Incredible. Via a listening device that then they'll be able to hear. So maybe it'll help her get the sky's information. Okay, yeah, we can, you guys have access to all those types of spy tools, like earpieces and stuff like that. Then I was also wanting to get maybe some darts with sleeping, like a sleeping agent in it. (laughs) So I'm an assassin. Incredible. Um, In case we intercept the actual investor, so we can like, get him out of the picture. And then deadly poison or just like sleeping poison i mean i'll also have deadly weapons on me right because i'm a yeah assassin assassin but i will i want some stuff just specifically to not kill people i don't okay so you want want to to have some kind of weapon crafted for knocking somebody out so um tranquilizing darts go ahead and roll danger for me roll the number that you have next to danger danger. and then the highest number you get is your result four four heck yes so you very easily have a arsenal of let's say three tranquilizer darts so i would keep track of that knowing with your assassin knowledge of how you've typically worked in the past you know that a casino is not necessarily the best place for doing any kind of assault on somebody you would think that if you wanted to get information from this guy you wanted to interrogate him you wanted to get him alone the best way would be to figure out like to get him to his room or take him to a private location somehow and then also just as a general information for you guys you would be pretty confident in assuming that he's going to be storing the drug in his hotel room when he's not there i would say with your security role because you got a four you would also know that the Casino, the hotel that's attached to it, has a number of very fancy safes in some of their rooms, and one of them requires a fingerprint to unlock, and you would guess, because it's such a high-value thing, that that's the type of safe that you're going to be working with. And that'll probably be in his room. Then it would be in his room. There is a very slight chance that he would give it to the casino vault but itself, but probably not, given his nervous personality profile. Does... Morgan have eyes on his room. Can she tell if the uh, briefcase or whatever it is we're trying to see is in his room? There aren't cameras directly in his room. There's cameras on the hallway, the elevator going up to it, the stairwell, but the room itself does not have a camera monitoring it. But you have seen that there are usually two guards posted in the hallway in front of the door by his suite. So he's hired somebody to guard his stuff. And we know where his room is? Yes, I would say with the reconnaissance that she did that it is room 608. All right, so if Yvette is focused on intercepting the buyer and perhaps impersonating the buyer and Regina, Regina or Regina? It's Regina. (laughs) (laughs) Regina is focused on taking down the subjects if need be. That I think we can work together well. I will give you one other piece of information, which I forgot to mention, which this drug erases memory. And the way that it does that essentially is you take the drug, 
you act like you would normally act, everything seems normal, but then if you go to the person 12 hours later and you try to remember anything that happened in those 12 hours, they have no recollection so of what happened. Everyone in the casino that drove. <laughs> oh, exactly. Just do whatever the fuck you want. Yeah. Oh, no, I think <laughs> maybe, we can, maybe you can go in and give Dr. Thorne that drug and then you can take it and then when he wakes up, he won't know that we've I mean, taken Dr. it. Dr. Thorne, everyone is... <laughs> <laughs> Whichever works. <laughs> one guy, a whole well, casino, whatever. <laughs> one thing to keep in mind, if Dr. Thorne made it, even if we take it, he could make more. So are That's we true. trying to get him into custody? Is that part of our mission? Or are we just getting this one particular batch of blot? That's all we're worried about. I think the thought process from the agency side is that that would be amazing if you could take him in. It would be a lot more trouble, though, probably to like kidnap somebody. Um, because if they get the drug, then they can try to work on creating a chemical Antidote. counter agent. Okay. That makes sense. All right. I'll just check it. We need the drug yeah, and no, the scientist. If we or can just get the drug. Yeah, drug yeah. for sure, scientist if possible. Okay. No, that was very, very important question because, you know, I was just going to throw him out like, the window. We also, yeah, <laughs> we also have an assassin. Like, if we're, you yeah. know, if the true yeah. mission is to stop Blot from getting out, then you take what exists and you kill the dude. Can you overdose <laughs> on Blot? You do not know. You do not know what the effects of we'll taking too out. much blood is. Oh, and oh, also, oh, the oh, thing oh. is, it's up to you guys. If you think that your spy agency would be like, let's murder this dude, then sure. I don't know, we're pretty bloodthirsty. Can I just say that I also know lots of martial arts? Yeah, you do. Good. Just gonna put that. You fucking do. You're an incredible assassin. Let's um let's decide what your your specialty is for when you kill. How do you usually do it? Ooh, how do I usually do it? I feel like signature kill. I feel like it would involve uh poison. Okay, poison. Yeah, that makes sense because you made those darts and stuff. Yeah, and I feel like I also would have a poison lipstick. Poison lipstick. That I'm immune to. Yes, okay, so you have a poison lipstick in your disposal. Yes. As, at your disposal for this mission. Can I have like another, li like a lipstick, just like my darts that puts people to sleep? You know what? You can have a sleep lipstick, you can have a poison lipstick, and you can have your three sleep darts. Now, here's the thing. The sleep licks lipstick and the poison lipstick look very similar oh, in shit. the moment. So I will make you roll if you're trying to do okay. it quickly. One is like a rose red mm -hmm. and the other one's like a fire. You weren't red. thinking that much when you were <laughs> yeah. And if you're in the dark, it's a little really hard I just really like tell. red lipstick. Yeah. yeah. I mean, and they're both in round <laughs> tubes. Yeah. Dang. Yeah. <laughs> I have a signature style. Hey there. It's Emily, again, not that you didn't just hear me, but I would like to do a quick review of how things work with Shot Through the Heart before we fully dive into the heist. It runs off of Caltrop Core, which is a rules light TTRPG system using D4s. And I have all the information about the creator of that system and how it works in the episode notes. So you've heard our mission briefing and met our agents already. They've spent some time coming up with the plan for their heist, but we didn't include this because we want it to be a surprise for you. What you don't know is that each agent has two secret objectives, one involving the heart and one as a spy. No one else at the table knows their secrets and it is up to each agent to do their best to achieve their individual objectives. There are four stats that each agent has, danger, deception, desire, and decipher. I'll call for them to make a roll depending on what they're trying to achieve in the game. And what they'll then do is roll a number of d4s equal to the score that they have in the stat they're trying to do. So if I'm trying to seduce someone, I would make a desire roll. And because I'm so seductive, my score under desire is four. And so I would get to roll four d4s and take the highest number to determine the result. It sounds a little wordy, but it's actually very easy to do. So if I roll a one as my highest number, that's bad. I just utterly fail it. But if I roll a four as my highest number, I am so incredibly successful. And then in between two would be a partial failure, not quite as bad as a one. And a three is a partial success. So kind of do it, but there are going to be some consequences. 
So yeah, there are some other types of mechanics, but that's really all that you need to know to listen and enjoy this sexy spy story. Now let's jump into the action with our shot agents. All right, you are approaching the casino. First of all, how y'all looking? What are you, what are your outfits? What are you, what's going on with you as you enter and you get onto the main casino floor to try to find your mark? I'm wearing a silver dress that's very revealing and form-fitting. I don't know how it's staying on. <gasps> wow. Very well, nice. I know, but no one else does. It's a secret. It's tape. <laughs> Ooh, <I'm sexy. laughs> what are you wearing morgan uh, i'm wearing a black jumpsuit that uh, is halter top so Ooh. it's the back is open and i have excellent back muscles from all the working out like that i've been do. doing with regina no i keep watching them <laughs> oh my. and i've on uh gold jewelry and my hair is up in a ponytail most of my jewelry is tech Incredible. And Yvette? Uh, I will be dressed as one of the gals who serves drinks in the casino so okay. that I can uh, walk around out on the floor and see who I can find in here. Yes, perfect. So I'm trying to think of what an outfit like that would be. Very, very sexy. It very depends sexy. on the hotel. They usually wear like, like a vest, vest and bow tie. So like Yvette yeah. is, you know, she's no spring chicken. She's, uh, she's wearing a duct tape corset. She's wearing a duct tape. She has her boobs <laughs> hoisted up with her duct tape because she can't wear a bra with her vest that she it's has to wear. It's so revealing. Yeah. <laughs> There's no back on it. There's no so. back. Um, a, ve- a backless vest. Is <laughs> that the 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 <laughs> there was some sci-fi movie that had like some weird like U-shaped thing that yeah. that yeah. The back oh, yeah, of the vest yeah, yeah. is it could always just be a, the yeah. ugliest yeah. part, so Perfect. just take it off. So it's the front part of a vest that drapes over the shoulders, <laughs> which hides the duct tape. There's no back, <laughs> and then. <laughs> <laughs> what are you wearing on the bottom? <laughs> no, I'm just nothing. It's, it's a long tall. vest. <laughs> it's completely bare no. on the back. I think you could wear pants. Let's let's class yeah, it up a little bit. Some kind of uh, like sequined leggings. Yes, incredible. Yeah, because it is it is Vegasy. So yes. sequins must have sequins. Perfect Sequined leggings and backless vest. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> I'm very inconspicuous. What is she? <laughs> But this very apparently it's not a super fancy casino anymore. It's just a weird casino. <laughs> they all are. Yeah, that's fair. But that is the uniform. Does this casino have a theme? The, so I called it the Stardust, which is the name of a of a casino, which I shouldn't have done. Maybe but sci-fi. Um, I'm gonna say it is vaguely sci-fi themed. So let's say that like, how would you make a backless vest and sequin leggings sci-fi? There maybe all of their waitresses wear like full body paint to look like aliens <gasps> incredible <laughs> yes you also have alien paint on your body and i'm imagining the top is like a lame yes yeah but yeah it is a, it is has a very tasteful sci-fi theme if such a thing exists <laughs> it's like a really sexy alien club i was thinking like a 50s is. retro alien oh no sci-fi. there we go it's 50s retro then. it's like the playboy bunny club with aliens. This is painted a beautiful picture. I just for want us. to keep describing. I feel this. like we are in the moment the now. Let's just keep describing. You have alien. entered the casino. Casinos. It has the cool 50s retro sci fi vibe. What are you guys doing? All right. You go mingle. You do what you do best, Morgan. <laughs> oh, I will. I'm going to go up to the bar to get a drink and see what I can find. So, what does Morgan do best? I'm confused. It was was the perfect sentence, yes. Well, I think Morgan is, first thing she's going to do is try to figure out the best place for her to get reception and not be seen by the cameras looking at what is on the cameras. I would like you to make a deception roll to see if you can figure out what would be the most in disguise kind of hidden zone for doing this without getting made by casino security four so you find the perfect spot where you have already mapped out the cameras that there isn't a whole lot of coverage you can sit down at one of the blackjack tables and you have money from the agency you can play and you can very easily watch from that perspective and get a good view of 
the bar area of a lot of things going on and then also surreptitiously be able to look at your thing. I don't know why they wouldn't have the cameras monitoring this blackjack table, but I'm just trying to make it more zazzy for yeah, you than just not? sitting at a slot machine. Yeah. I mean, you could sit at a slot machine if you'd rather do that. Maybe you, like, you nudged a plant over and so the camera is slightly obscured yes. by yeah. the leaf Yes, yes, yes. So. <laughs> Maybe you've hacked into those cameras for that specific area so that you can pretty much do what you want at that table and have a good ability to monitor things as they're going on. Meanwhile, you are going to the bar, Regina? I'm going to get a drink. Okay. And then I'm going to find out a spot for trying to keep an eye out of the elevators where the scientists would come down. Are you trying to stay hidden or are you trying to just kind of... Scream? No, I'm not hidden. I would say then you can use your um, danger role because that's good for perception. Your highly honed senses could pick the guy up. Ooh, four. Gosh, you guys, this is very successful game. <laughs> <clears throat> but you're doing what you're what you're good at, which is what I do. Yeah, you're doing what you do. You've found the perfect spot at the bar, and you have a moment where a couple of different people come up and start to, start to try to chat you up, but you use your like perfect icy gaze to get them to leave you alone so that you can focus in on your target when he arrives. That's right, get lost, losers. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but somehow it's still charming, and they're like, oh, okay, yeah, of course, that makes sense. Um, and then, of course, Yvette. Uh, I think I will make a circuit of the gambling room floor, I guess, okay. and see if, you know, like, look for some openings at tables, see where this guy might sit uh, if, yes. when, and, when and if he arrives here. Perfect. Uh, and, you know. I assume Morgan has eyes on the elevator, too, so you can let me know when. Yes. Thanks, hon. I would like you to do two things for me. I want you to make a deception roll for your sexy alien casino getup. And then I also need you to make a uh, danger roll to perceive things. All right. Uh, deception roll will be four. <laughs> That's good. And then what was the other danger? Okay. Um, yeah, seems in danger. That is going to be a one. <laughs> oh, <Okay. no. laughs> All right. So I think of how you could fail this. It's finally a failure. Yep. Um, <laughs> so not a problem at all. You are a pro and a master of disguise for a reason. There is no reason in the world why anyone would not think that you are a server at this casino. However, doing your route, I would say that you get about like maybe halfway through the casino floor and then you keep getting pestered by people because your disguise is so good that you don't have any time to actually stop, like, Ram, I need to yeah. get, can you give me another one of these? And like all these people are talking and chatting with you and you just all of your time is used up. And because you're so good at your disguise, you don't want to kind of get made by not doing what your job is supposed to be and so you have no clue of where he would want to get set up like you just don't have a time to to make a, a perception of the space and i'm going to roll something real quick but am i getting good tips <laughs> that's a good question let me roll and see if he gets some good tips we'll make a make a um a desire roll Ooh, four is a four hell yeah um yeah incredible tips you are it's a Raking really busy night people are really charmed by you and your alien persona it's going great in some ways you're like wow this is a lot easier than my normal one day when i retire yes. this will be my place i'm so good at this so you guys are hanging out waiting for a little while and you see coming down the elevator dr alexander thorne wearing a slightly too big suit a fairly nice tie his hair is slicked back a little bit like maybe he tried to do something to make it a little bit more presentable he's alone he doesn't have anybody with him he still has his fairly round glasses on and he heads out and you see immediately as soon as he gets off of the elevator a woman go up to him who seems like she's a, a staff member of the casino and you over here uh regina you over here <laughs> regina you over here, <laughs> regina, you over here uh, this woman saying to him ah mr thorne please come with me and we will take you back to the high rollers lounge and so he, you see him being escorted across the casino floor right, i'm gonna say into my little ear mic thing all right, girls, she's taking him to the High Rollers Lounge. 
I'll switch over to those cameras. Sorry, Regina, I'm really busy. I, I, I got three more drinks to fill and I got to take them over to the to the nickel slots, but I'll, I'll join you over there as soon as I can. Well, you need to get into a closet and get out of that disguise. It's not doing you any favors. <laughs> we need you on this mission. Morgan will take a peek into the Harola room. I'm assuming the waitresses in there are probably dressed differently. They are. So I would want to relay the information to a vet of what to change into so that she could waitress in the horror roller room. Now we have to come up with a different waitress. Oh, shit. Um, <laughs> I'd say a cocktail dress. Yeah, I would say that this is a very form-fitting dress. It's, they still have the alien makeup, <laughs> but it's much classier. Their hair is done up in a, in a pretty, like, fancy updo. Now I'm getting like fifth element vibes. Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> this space is much fancier than the main casino floor, which is nice, but there is a pair of guards that are letting people in or out. So it is monitored more heavily by security. Am I close enough to get up and try to intercept him? Oh, absolutely. I'm going to just pretend I'm not really paying attention and I'm going to trip and spill my red drink all over him and... <gasps> my dress oh my okay make a deception check four he falls over eats shit when you crash into him <laughs> spilling your drink all over him he is down on the ground and he looks up at you and he sees this gorgeous drink covered woman above him and the concierge has managed to dodge back a little bit and she says are, are you all right and he, he looks up and he says Ma'am, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to run into you like that. And I'm just going to, first I'm just going to look at him as if I'm taken aback, like, who is this man? It's <laughs> <laughs> love at first sight. Pa pardon me, I, I, I apologize. I'm so sorry. I'm just so clumsy sometimes. I was just looking at the sides of this beautiful casino. Could you ever forgive me? Oh, oh, well, of course. And my dress oh. is ruined. I, and your suit's ruined. And I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> and, like, and like alcohol like running down my cleavage and like wiping it off yeah the concierge has run off to go get some like bar towels for you all so you are two are alone I'm just so clumsy I'm so sorry make a desire check <laughs> four he looks up at you in your doe eyed look uh, you don't need to apologize it was completely and entirely my fault and of course I would be more than happy to um, do anything I can to make recompense for my 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 missteps oh no it's entirely my fault i wasn't expecting to run into such a handsome man though <laughs> if you don't mind me saying he blushes profusely and he's oh well that that's that's mighty kind of you ma'am oh i should he gets up off the floor at this point the concierge has come over with the towels she hands some of them to you and to him and he starts toweling himself off. He takes off his suit jacket and now he is a little bit more attractive because his suit jacket was so big that it was like not doing him and his, him any favors. But now he's with his shirt, looks a little bit more slim fitted, looking not too bad. He's going to try to make a desire roll to see if he can be charming to you. Let's see if that works out. I'll let the dice decide. He Root for you, man. <laughs> No, not too bad. I would love to buy you a drink and maybe we can I was I was headed to the to one of the other rooms. Would you like like to accompany me? And you can see he's he's sweating a little bit as he's doing this, oh. but it's it's slightly charming. Oh, that would be so kind of you. Um I just don't know if I'm dressed appropriately now. And I'm like, you know, <laughs> toweling, like very patting my breasts. And he keeps like <laughs> looking and then trying and like, to look away. Like he's very flustered. Oh, uh, Ma'am, do you have any kind of a thing that we, uh, something else that my companion could wear? Or maybe a new, a new jacket? He says to the concierge and she looks at him and she's like, oh, of course, right away. Anything you need. And she races off. Uh, I hope you don't mind it. You, you're welcome to stay in that, but you are quite wet. You're telling me. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, meanwhile, as they go off to get the dress, um, what's going on while she's having this interaction? Morgan is going to make sure that Yvette gets a play-by-play -play of the person Incredible. who broke her heart being so seductive with someone else, almost like the person she loves doesn't want her anymore. <laughs> Isn't that terrible? Doesn't Daddy. that just make her so jealous? 
<laughs> Yvette is quite certain that she is just going to break Alexander Thorne's heart just as she did hers. I can scarcely stand to hear about it, but I can't stop listening. <laughs> <laughs> so you are eventually brought another gown, which is very nice. Do you want to get changed into it or or no? Just stay in what you're wearing. Trap. Well, you don't have to strip on the kitchen <laughs> floor. You can go into a, yeah, bath- a bathroom or something. <laughs> no, 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 no. You guys can head over to the restrooms to get changed. Sure. That would be a good first to reconnoiter. Yeah, okay. So you head over to the restroom. He's going to go in and change his jacket into something that's probably much better fitted and maybe clean the cosmopolitan off of his pants and uh, you will get changed and you guys can meet up. She is going to ask him to zip down her zipper and he will be, come undone. (laughs) That's exactly what I was planning. You know me so well. Yes. (laughs) Yes. If you, Regina, are going to keep him occupied in the high roller room, and if you're going to keep an eye on him with that by changing into a waitressing outfit, then I might take that opportunity to try to see if there's any way we can get past those guards in the hallway. You remember that there is a fingerprint sensor in the safe in his room, and so there may be a way for you to somehow get his fingerprint. Chop his hand off. Chop his hand off. Perfect solution. <laughs> if you could get that from one of these two, then you could. What you guys could hypothetically go while he's distracted. Does your new dress, Regina, have any sequins? Any no, no, gems? Uh, it obviously has sequins on it. I, I think uh, my my chance is best to get him to touch it. To drink. <laughs> yes. Well, I mean, I was just saying, if you know, if she was Regina was wearing a dress with big sequins, and he touched special sequins we could possibly use but of course that's always fine too whatever <laughs> <laughs> the new dress can be pleather <laughs> it's what would repl- repel the liquids that you keep spilling on it so it's <laughs> They're like, we got another one. Get out, <laughs> Get out the blue dress. Leather backup dress. You know what? Because of that, I like it. It's going to be a pleather. Uh, it's like a pleather <laughs> dress that one of their fancy performers wears. Um, so it's a very tight pleather dress with a slit all the way up to the thigh. Oh, pleather. You've come out of the bathroom. Did you leave your zipper down <laughs> on the back of the dress? Yeah, I didn't have anyone in the bathroom to zip it up. <laughs> so he comes out and he's, he's, he's like, oh, oh, mom, do you, do you need my help? I'm so now? sorry to ask you. I feel very embarrassed. Um, but I'm here by myself and I don't have anyone. Could you zip up the back of my dress? Make it another deception check because you said I was here by myself and I didn't have anyone else. Well, I mean, I, that's why nobody else could zip up my dress. I know, but it's a lie. Fur. Fur. Yeah. You're so good. You're fur. He's, you char- you he's so charmed by you anyway. You're a spy. You're a spy. Assassin. Of course you can lie well to him. Of course. Oh my gosh. This is my real voice. That's why I'm so good about <laughs> The true master of I'm not even from New England. <laughs> He goes over and with slightly shaky hands will zip up your dress and then gives you a gentle pat on the shoulder and then offers his arm to you. Shall, shall we go? And I will put my hands around his bicep and say, oh, what an arm. Oh, uh, I, I'm, that's very kind of you to say. I, ha- I have been working out a bit, but, you know, it's, t- it's tough. I spend so much time in, in the lab that I, I don't really get much time to, oh, to take care lab. of myself. As you're, you're walking over to the high roller room <laughs> as you're doing this and being brought in there. What kind of lab work do you do? Oh, I, I'm, a, I'm a chemist of, of sorts. I do pharmaceuticals mostly. That's so interesting. I love science. Oh, do you? I do. do. Do you have any background in the scientific arts? No, unfortunately. I'm just more of a hobbyist. But I've always been fascinated by science. The way the world works. Magical. Wow. He is very dazzled by you as he takes you into the high rollers room. What kind of you have you see before you there are blackjack tables, there is a poker, there is a roulette wheel, there's craps. What are you feeling into? You can guide him pretty much wherever you want to go. <laughs> you have got him wrapped. Oh, didn't you say you'd buy me a drink? Oh, yeah, of course. I realized after I said that the, all the drinks here are complimentary. But- <laughs> Uh, I will be happy to fetch one. And this is the moment as you can enter Yvette with your drink tray. 
Oh, thank you. M much obliged. And he will pass that off to you. Uh, thank you so much. He quickly downs his cocktail and nervously pulls at his collar a little bit. I quickly down my cocktail and nervously pull at my cleavage. <laughs> <laughs> this is I just, my top. I just pull at my. I'm not quite <laughs> sure this dress fits right. What do you think? Does uh, it look okay? <laughs> Make a desire roll. Sorry. <laughs> oh, not as good. It almost seems like he gets a little too like embarrassed. Oh. <laughs> gets a little too harassed. No, he says, well, I, uh, I apologize, ma'am. It is not my place to comment on a woman's appearance as such as I, I do not know you that well. Well, I did ask you, so it wouldn't be... I know. It, it looks... You look wonderful. Thank you so much. So, I, I apologize. I did not even get your name. Oh, my name is Regina. R Regina, the pleasure Regina. to meet you. Regina Vagina. That's a lovely name. Where Thank is it you. from? Oh, uh, we're from the New England Vaginas. Ah, uh, yes, I have, I have not acquainted myself with them as I, as I said, I am not a man much of the, owns of the a world. Tuna Canning Company. Oh, that is unusual. <laughs> 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 She was Regina, 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 he seems slightly nervous. Like, he doesn't quite know what to do with himself. He keeps kind of holding his hands together and looking around the room. Regina. Make a bet with him. So if you win, you go to his room. If he if he wins, it is up to him what he does with you. That's a good idea. You'll be fast. All right. Why don't we... Do you gamble? Uh, this this is my first time that I'm, I'm quite interested. I, I do have a, a good amount of money at my disposal. Not that I'm trying to brag. It's just uh, I've come into some funds recently. and I'm, uh, I would be happy to gamble if you would like to. Do you have a game of choice? Um, I'm terrible at gambling. <laughs> I'm oh, well, that makes two, that gambling, makes two of it? us. He perks up a little bit when you say you're terrible <laughs> yeah. at gambling. Let's just see which one looks like people are having the most fun. Um, that would be the people screaming over at the crafts table. That looks exciting. Or would you rather have something oh, a little more low key? That that does seem a bit intense for me as a first timer. Okay, let them something a little quieter. Maybe we can talk a little bit. Yeah, I would. Let's. I uh, hope I'm not coming on too strong. Uh. uh well, let me make a roll <laughs> for that. You go ahead and, and roll. And, uh, do both a desire and a deception check for me. Just one last one. Well, for I don't know. Is she actually goes. attracted to him? Maybe I don't know. That's is. a good question. Are you attracted to him? I'm getting there. Okay, yeah, so ooh. then just desire, I would say. Well, I got double fours. So well, holy shit. Ooh. It's going to be contested against him. Like, There's no way he's going to get this. Yep, nope. Yeah. <laughs> he is so utterly charmed by you. Oh. When I saw you on that floor, I just... Literally. I, just... <laughs> <laughs> I myself was floored. You see the, the he his eyes, kind of like stars go in his eye, little hearts. And as I'm, he I'm normally much you. shyer, and I don't, I don't usually talk to people I don't know very well, but I don't know, there's just something about you. Well, uh, I mean, this is mighty unexpected, but I, I must admit that I, I saw you standing above me and I, I could not. Were you Southern before? <laughs> I've been Southern, Southern yeah, this whole time. I wasn't sure. I don't think I was. You were, but it's all right. You've adapted to my personality. <laughs> super <laughs> sneaky spy. You yeah, you change so you've, you've subtly changed your, your accent as you've been talking to me to make me feel we're more from comfortable. New England. <laughs> we're from New England, but I grew up in Georgia. <laughs> I went to college there for several years. Oh, what, what did you study? Business, since I have to take over the tuna canning business. <laughs> well, um, anyway. The haberdasheries. <laughs> <laughs> fizz, fizz. 
<laughs> Do not get an Amy and haberdasheries. Those were giant haberdasheries. Husbandry. Husbandry. No, no. I like the Tina wearing like fancy outfits. <laughs> well, I thought it was a husbandry class. But I said I had signed up for haberdasheries class, and honestly, I was too embarrassed to stop taking the class. <laughs> so, the reason why I became a, a chemist was that I, I walked into the wrong classroom. Oh and goodness. I just I found that it suited me. So, you know, sometimes the, it's in the cards what, what happens to us. Well, Speak, speaking of in the cards, may, maybe we could uh, try some blackjack. Okay. Do you know how to play blackjack? Blackjack? Uh, I, I, you I, <laughs> are, you, are you having a stroke? I don't know. I did have a little bit of a drink before. Oh, well, um. Please do not drink more on my account. We're if having you... stroke. Oh, goodness. <laughs> I, I must find a medical. Okay. So you take you over to the blackjack table and you guys will play blackjack. Let's, I'm not sure what this, ro- do you want to try to cheat at all at blackjack or do you want to just do like a straight roll? No, I don't really care about the gambling. I think I'm just going to try to just get to know him while playing Okay, then I would say Jack is just there. I would just say just roll uh, no specific stat, just roll one uh, d- d4 to see how you do. A four, baby! God damn it, you're all so well. Um, yeah, you are incredible, a blackjack. I will roll for him. That is also a four. You guys are doing great. You must be my lucky charm. Uh, I, I was just about to say the same thing about you, ma'am. Well, we make quite a team, don't we? We, we really do. Anyway, what are you guys so, up to? Morgan, you're going to have to put some Madonna music yeah, right Morgan's there. Morgan's going to get on the old air mic and actually turn the channel so that only Yvette can hear her. <laughs> oh my god, as they're just flirting and like, it's pretty, it's pretty convincing whether it's realistic or not. And um, Morgan's going to say, I think they really like each other. I mean, I'm, you know, picking up on some real attraction. Is that painful for you? Do you think she's falling for this guy? Is she gonna like? Is she gonna fuck us over? You know, I don't. I do not think she has a, a true bone in her body. I, well, not she, yet. She, she is probably will have a true. If the night goes well, we can only hope. <laughs> Okay, let me let me rephrase. I feel like I say that because yeah. I can hear them, and he's like, <laughs> <laughs> "That's just a little something I say." <laughs> oh, uh, of course. Yeah, you you did change channel, yes, yeah? so she can yes. hear us. Okay, uh, okay, very much. So. No, she is she is playing. There is no way she has feelings for him. No way. I think I'm beginning to develop feelings for you. <laughs> <laughs> did you hear that? Uh, uh, you know, I was afraid to say something because it's it's so sudden, but I, I really do feel like there's this is part between us. Really? Yes, it may be the alcohol and the success on the game I'm talking, but <laughs> I am, could be. I'm quite, I find myself quite delighted by you. I guess we'll find out if we still feel the same way in the morning. Wait, wait, um, in, in, the, in the morning? She cannot be serious. She could never be that serious about someone that quickly. Know that she is just playing the role. No, she is why? very professional. Why do you think that she couldn't fall for someone that quickly? I mean, some people fall out of love with people for no apparent reason so quickly. <laughs> so I think it's possible for someone to fall in love with someone very quickly. But we're here on a mission. Yeah, that, that is very sweet and naive of you, but uh, <sighs> no, she she is doing her job and she is doing it very well, like everything she does. I do do everything very well. Okay. So yeah. if they are, she's clearly drinking, he appears to be yes. keeping up with her or attempting to. Yes, attempting to. He did slam uh, that sure. one drink back. He did. Did he put yes. it back on, was she there though? Could he have put it he back on her tray? He could have put it back on your tray, yeah. I would have you make a roll to see if you can extract a fingerprint from it, which, again, I'm going to say it would be Decipher. Two. You don't, like, draw any attention to yourself doing it, but you're not able to successfully get a good enough fingerprint off of that. I think because he didn't hold it for very long and his hands were sweaty and he kind of just, it didn't really make an imprint that you would want. So you'd have to find something else to get a fingerprint or have him just use his finger. (laughs) <laughs> wow, wow. Yeah. I'm quite sure she knows how to get him to do that I do. 
So I'm going to click on your channel, all channel now. Everybody can okay. hear. Um, we were not able to get the fingerprint from the glass. How likely are you to get him back to the room? I don't know, but I'll keep trying. Well, I, I always said that, you know, sometimes you got to just keep trying. Oh, <laughs> yes, at the blackjack. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're, we're doing so well that I uh, figured, you know, maybe maybe we should call it quits for tonight while we're ahead. Okay. It's um, been it's been an, an incredible pleasure. You're not pleasure. leaving, though, are you? Oh, uh, I, I, I didn't want to presume anything of you. Well, I was so enjoy getting to know you. Oh well, um, I, he he does like a very big swallow and looks very nervous. And he says, "Um, well, I, if you if you would like, I, I do have a a room here that we could we could continue our, our conversation somewhere that was a bit more more private." Well, I wouldn't want to presume, or if you're a private person, but that. And I don't usually do this, but <laughs> I hope, you know, I hope I'm not being too presumptuous again, but I think I would like to go up to your room. Oh, well, then I, I shall lead the way and he will again give you his, his arm and lead you up to his. And I'm going to like giggle. <laughs> Hello, it's Emily again. Wow, I am talking to you so many times this episode, but let's do our announcements for the week while we take a little respite from the sexy spy shenanigans. Thank you so much for listening. Oh my gosh, we are so happy to have you here, whether this is your first time listening to the show or if you're continuing our adventures with us. We had so much fun recording this. I was laughing and crying while editing it and also while playing. If you're intrigued to check out Shot Through the Heart, this game that I have designed based on the Caltrop Core system, it's available either on our coffee or our itch. So links to both of those are going to be in the episode notes. Next episode, we'll be back to the normal story. So stay tuned for that. But without any further ado, let's go back to the casino and find out what our agents are going to do next. Private channel with a vet. Oh, it burns. Much like Regina's going to be burning later. It burns. <laughs> My gynecologist said that infection's cleared up. <laughs> They've been waiting for that. God damn it, Regina, you didn't say you would tell anyone about that. <laughs> How do you think we broke up? <laughs> Guess what? Gonna... <laughs> Keep this line clear, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So you are up at the room. You see at the end of this hallway, room 608, um, there are two guards and they see you approaching and they just nod at him. He says, well, I apologize for the presence of these um, these guards that I have. It's just you see sometimes. Um, well, you're not in any danger, are you? Uh, no, uh, I have in. Well, I don't know if I should to talk about this, but, you know, I, sometimes I just felt like I needed a bit more um, protection. Oh, yes. I know the sciences could be very dangerous. You know, they are sometimes. Sometimes you get involved with something that you were not quite expecting, and then the results of it are a bit overwhelming, and then you sometimes find you have to hire guards. It sounds awfully exciting, though. Well, I, I guess it is, and he will go into the room with you. And you can see that it is a very fancy hotel suite it has a nice big balcony overlooking the beautiful glittering strip suppose it is hot tub for two yeah there's a fancy like hot tub bathtub type thing in the bathroom there is a sitting room and then there's a bedroom coming off of the room um you don't see a safe anywhere in this bedroom area not bedroom, the living room area. You'll be right to the bedroom. Oh, no, he'll go to the And he will, um, can, can I get you anything to uh, to drink or? Uh, actually, would it be too much trouble to go over to your sink and kind of, maybe I could towel off my dress a little bit. Not the one I'm wearing, the other one. 
Oh, yeah, yes, of course. Uh, yes. And he will gesture for you into the bathroom. All right. And I'm going to kind of look around on the way and see. Yeah. Make see a what danger see. roll. Danger. Meanwhile, what are you ladies doing? I'm going to get on the channel. Four, uh, baby. Oh, oh damn. Suggest uh, room service to both of these ladies. Ah, uh, yes. And that um, I will get the schematics or the blueprints to see if I can figure out where the safe is in the room. Yes. And also, um, maybe cause a little power outage, but but weirdly, there'll be ambiance and music. Ooh, I love it. Okay, so make a decipher check for me. Four. Fuck yeah, you guys are so good at your jobs. <laughs> shot. You are shot. shot. Super hot operative team. Da -da. So, yes, you are very easily able to find where the safe is usually located. It seems like it is in the bedroom. In uh, There's a closet area in the bedroom where there is that fingerprint ID safe. It's not like it's hidden behind anything. So that's where the safe would be located. You also are able to hack into the power system and make an incredible ambiance. The light, you see the power flicker and then everything goes dark and the guards at the door will knock and say, sir, is everything all right? And uh, Alexander will look around and be like, well, I, uh, I don't, where did this voice come from? Uh, <laughs> uh, well, we both suddenly from Transylvania. <laughs> I don't know this is, I don't know what this happened. Is when they're, when they're, they're just in the kinky role when play. When yeah. cool down, oh, I turn into a You pretend to be the drug, vampire cool doctor and I will be your assistant. <laughs> So he, he says, it seems like it is all right. Uh, uh, gentlemen, we, we are quite all right. Please do, if you don't, if you do not mind, just, you don't need to just dis disturb us. Could you tell us fuck off? Yeah, basically, <laughs> is what he says. And they're like, oh, all right. Um, so it is now beautiful. Like the lights, the kind of sub lights that are um, underneath, like lighting the jacuzzi kind of yes. glitter up. And it's, you can see the light twinkling in from the, the strip. And, and so going to like touch it touch him like like i don't even notice that i'm touching him be like wow this just adds to the magical feeling of the night i don't know what's in the air but i don't know i'm just feeling so i'm just gonna look at him make a, a <laughs> desire check and he will also make a <laughs> desire check and i would like you are you gonna try to go up and be uh, room three. service if it I, I don't think they've ordered any, but I guess because he's a high roller, we're just going to yes. go and offer some fucking champagne. I'm going to knock lightly, but then just open the door and barge right in with the cart. So we'll get to that. And like, we'll say like in two minutes, that's what's going to happen. That's about how long it will take you to get everything prepared. It's taking this too far. Um, and make actually a make a danger roll for me just to make sure that you can get the cart and everything set up without anybody catching you. And I'll make just a security check. I love danger roll. <laughs> so exciting. Security is shit at this casino. I keep rolling yeah. ones and twos. <laughs> and I got a four. Wait, did, were you rolling a, a desire roll for him or whatever? I need to, yes. I want him to kiss me. What did you get for your roll? I got a three. He also got a three. He takes a while to get the hint. And you oh, have to do a sometimes. lot of like... Looking, uh, looking in the darkness. Making my lips look extra. <clears throat> yes, exactly. And then oh, eventually, you don't have all the poison lipstick. Eventually, yeah, like, <laughs> you have either of your lipsticks on. I have on. the what sleep color? lipstick on. I think. Okay, yeah, it's true. It's dark. <laughs> Shit. So you go. You sure. put your lipstick on. Make just roll a d4 for me. Four, Fuck, baby. You do it so good. This. Okay, so you get the sleep lipstick on if you want to maybe you'll go freshen up and you put it on and just to draw attention to your lips and then eventually mm -hmm. as you're coming back from the bathroom after applying your lipstick he he goes up and he just says oh well i oh fuck it and he just gives you a big uh big smooch and then immediately starts to collapse into your arms and then falls down on the ground with a thud and then i immediately have a more serious expression and i just lower him to the ground <laughs> So you are now outside the door with the cart with the champagne and chocolate covered strawberries. And um, what do you do? Did the guards challenge me? Can I uh, can I help you? You know, as a, as a courtesy of the house, we, we are bringing champagne and sweets to the master here. Uh, as we noticed that he brought some companionship up with uh, with him. So uh, if you wouldn't mind, I'd like to um, help enhance their their evening, uh, their stay here at the Stardust. 
Make a deception check for me. They will make a check to see if they not can make one for each of them. Ooh. Uh, four. How many fours did you get? One four. One four? And then how many threes did you get? Uh, none. The one guard looks at you and he says, I, I think the boss would have told us something if he had ordered something. And they start to kind of like... Yeah, well, of course he didn't order bit. it. We offer this as a courtesy of the house. If he had to ask for it, we wouldn't be doing our jobs properly. Ma'am, I think I'm going to have to ask you to head on out. I'm sure that he can deal without champagne. He asked to not be disturbed. All right. May I leave this here with you so that when he says I would like champagne, it will be ready for him. I will not have it said that the hotel did not offer the hospitality due sure, to whatever, such an just important you're, guest. Um, we're not letting you in there right now. Sorry. You don't have to go in. This guest just needs this champagne and, and strawberries. Think about what's going on in that room. <laughs> I would rather not think about it, if I'm being completely honest. <laughs> I'm just here to do a job. He'll let you leave the cart, but he's not going to let you in. Yeah, well, I'm I'm not going to fight with them, because I that is not my strength. So uh, I'm going to retreat. Okay. Yeah. You doing anything? I'm working? just going to check in with Regina, and I'll look on the alt channel, and I'll say, because you can hear me, but he can't. I'm going to say what is going on. My dear Morgan, he's been incapacitated. Get me some eyes on that safe. All right. I'm going to try to get the schematic up to see exactly where it is. And yes. if she needs to move anything out of the way or go. You said it's in a closet. Yeah, it is very straightforward okay. where it is in the oh, okay. closet. So you can direct her over there. You go into the closet. You see this safe that has the fingerprint sensor on it. All right, so now I got to go back and drag uh -huh. his body. Make a danger check for me. I take my heels off. <laughs> okay. Don't twist your ankle. Four. Okay, yeah. So you are very easily able to carry him without making any noise, very stealthily. Any noise that I would just be like, oh, Alexander. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah. exactly. Any time I fall in the cards outside, just yeah. shudder. Like, oh, <laughs> God. They don't pay me enough for I've this. I've never been loved like this before. <laughs> Every Ever. time she does it, I'm going to get in there with the vet. Ooh, burn. Definitely not with any of my exes. Okay, Ooh. so you can put the finger on the fingerprint sensor and you see the light turn green. It opens up and there is inside a metallic briefcase with a numerical lock on it. I'm going to grab that briefcase and then I'm going to try to exit out the window. You are on the, technically I think it would be the eighth floor because there would be the ground floor and then there's like a special fancy like upper ground eighth floor. floor no problem okay so you're on the eighth floor do you inform anybody that you're doing this i've got the goods i'm gonna try to shimmy down out the window right you find me a clear room if i can get into got it if i can't make it all the way to the ground i want to try to find an empty room i can climb down I'm going to start walking okay. to get to where I can get her into a clear room. Sure, or sure, sure, sure. You can try to see if you can hack into any of the card readers for lower level rooms and the sense the main desk, what rooms may or may not be occupied right now. So go ahead and make a decipher roll. And what are you doing, Yvette? Besides sucking at your job. Oh, shit. shit. <laughs> oh, sorry. I forgot the macro <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps it would never have worked. No. <laughs> Three. You are pretty sure that most of the rooms are unoccupied because of the time of night. It is like people are probably out having fun, but you're not 100% sure and you're not sure how you'd be able to play off if you go into one of the rooms and somebody isn't there. So it's it may or may not happen. It'll be like 50 50 thing if All the right. room's clear. I'm going to physically run <clears throat> towards where I'm directing her to okay. go in case there is a problem. Make a danger roll for me. Dang, my first danger roll. Danger. Oh. Uh oh. That's a one. <laughs> <laughs> So you oh, are running no. through the hallways and oh, no. you make it and you just, you just, there's no reason why this should happen, but you trip over a bump in the carpet, you fall, you eat shit, you get horrible rug burns all over your legs. And some of the hotel staff, ma'am, please be careful in the hallways and do you need someone to escort you somewhere? Oh, oh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm okay. I'm a little embarrassed, but um, I'm fine. And she's going to stand up and brush her. You know what? I think I need to help you wherever you're going. 
Okay. I don't know if you can get there safely. That's fine. Um, I just I was walking down this hallway. Is this where the drink machines, snack machines are? No, they're this way. Come on. So are we still on like all channels? So I know what yeah. happened to yes. Morgan. Okay. Um, I will. <clears throat> do I have another outfit so that I don't look like I'm the, yes. the upper? Okay, absolutely. So I'm going to change into like civilian clothing, like yes. I'm a guest at the hotel. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to come around the corner and intercept Morgan where she is being taken the wrong direction. Be like, there you are. Oh my God, <laughs> okay, I've been okay, looking okay. for you all over the place. Deception. Look, you know, <laughs> you know that we're, you know, expected to meet those those people <clears throat> to uh, to do that um, <clears throat> gambling <laughs> uh, what are you doing here? Why are you wasting time? Let's go. Three. Okay. You have tied, so we need to roll again. Ooh, contested roll. Four. How many fours did you get? Two. She seems like maybe she's not buying it at first, and then you eventually sell it, and you are able to free Morgan. Meanwhile, let's go ahead and have you try to shimmy on out that window and shimmy down and see if you can climb down the, window, the building. This is my window. Make a shimmy danger song. check. And I'm actually going to make a danger check for Alexander to see how long this ah, too. sleep is going. Oh, shit. Hit my, hand. Hit my hand is bad luck. Shit. Okay, you got a two on that roll, which is a partial failure. Let's hold on for just a second with Alexander has a one in danger, so. You hear behind you in the room him starting to stir a little bit. He seems like maybe he is more effective at resisting whatever toxin this was that was in your lipstick. And so that hurries you, you try to you shimmy over the edge of the balcony. You start to climb down and you lose your grip on the briefcase and you almost completely drop it. You're able to grab it, but then you are starting to fall and you are now plummeting down towards the ground. What are you gonna do? Die. <laughs> You've got one, other, one more roll to see if you can figure out how to save yourself. You have a sense that you, if you drop the briefcase, you could very easily figure out a way to like grab onto the stuff with one hand, it's a lot harder. I'm gonna take out one of my knives and try to stab into something to try to slow my fall. Make another danger roll. Three. Okay, so yes, you do that, you stab in, it slows your fall, you're a bit at the second level, um, well not the second level, but the second room level. You manage to slide onto one of the balconies, but you lose your balance and the briefcase goes tumbling down off the balcony, down onto the ground in the front courtyard area in some Shit. bushes in front of the uh, casino. All right, gals, I dropped the briefcase. Approximately where? We're on our way down now. Yeah, I'll tell her, I'll tell him where it is. Yeah, okay. So you guys can rush We're down together. We're probably on our way up to okay. meet her, but we'll have to- Head back down. Yeah. yeah. So you head back down the elevator, you make it down to the ground floor, and you head outside. Go ahead and make a danger check to see if you can Shit. <laughs> see where the briefcase has landed. Uh, no, I cannot see where the briefcase has landed. I got a one. You got a one. <laughs> I have a four. You were like, oh shit, yeah, I see it. And you run off in the totally wrong direction. <laughs> um, because you are just ready to ready to shine. It's your time to shine. And Apparently not. <laughs> Apparently not, though. Like, I can see. I'm still, like, hanging like, on the no, side of the building. It. I'm like, where are you going? Like, I see it. No, you're right. Turn around. So that's happening as you very keenly notice where it would have fallen and rush over there to the briefcase and are able to scoop it up. Regina, are you okay? Where, where, where are you? I'm right above you, darling. You look up, you see the, the sexy legs of Regina dangling off the edge of the building with a knife stuck and grabbing onto the balcony. And she's how far second. up at this she, point? So she's on the second room level floor, so that would be up, I think three probably floors? three floors. Yeah. I'm going to try to get up to get her maybe on the balcony below her. Okay. Or so, I'm not sure. Scale the side of the building. Scale the side of the building? No, it's going to run back inside. So romantic. And, oh, oh my gosh. gosh. If she can scale hang on. Yeah. Uh, if she can hang on that long. I was she's gonna... pretty strong. She was able to okay. stick the landing. I think she'll be okay. okay. She could even pull herself up onto that balcony if she needs to. Oh, this okay. is the first time I've. Yeah. 
you had probably... to knife the side of a building. <laughs> so so you'll down. meet her up there, I assume. Yes. So you rush back to go try to meet her. You pull up and you look into the room that the balcony is adjacent to. And you hear the delicate whispers of a couple in over a, a romantic candle lit room service dinner. They look out. One of them says, honey, what's that out there? And, he, and the other guy says, why don't you ever pay attention to me? This is our 15th anniversary and you can't stop looking out the window. And, he, and the other guy says, I swear I saw somebody out there. <laughs> I'm just going to be sneaking to exit the room. Okay, so <laughs> this is going to be really tough. I guess it would be a danger. No, deception roll to stealth past them as they're arguing about whether they saw something. <laughs> Boy. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. So you slink into the shadows as you as you take a moment when the other one is like, why do you always do this? And then the other guy's like, come on, honey, I wanted it to be romantic. And then they start to kiss. They make up and they kiss. Aww. And, Aww. and as I stop for a minute, I'm like, Aww. And then you head off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then you meet up with uh, you at the standing outside the door. Yes. What are you doing, Yvette? All right. So I have the briefcase. You have the briefcase. But they're away, right? They're away. Okay. And I am outside the casino. You are. And who else is out there with me? Are there there are right, plenty like, of people of just walking around, guests. And... Some people are like, what's over in the bushes? I wonder why they're over there. But no one seems to really care that much. Security is inept. So they haven't noticed that something fell out of the building or somebody fell down the side of the building. They're really bad at their jobs. So you're pretty much in a crowd, but well, not noticed. I did jam the security feed. Oh, that's true. That's yeah. true. That's very true. But they're also just bad at their jobs. Well, yeah. <laughs> when we came here tonight, how did we get here? Like, did we like drive a car and we have something in the parking lot? Or... Yeah, okay. you would have a car in the, that was valet parked. Uh, okay. Um, I guess I'm gonna head for the vehicle. All right, perfect. <laughs> so you, like, we, we appear to have. Yeah. <laughs> Duh, you're fancy ladies. You pulled up in the car. Oh, you got true. out okay. and All you right. were like. We're here. We should okay. have arranged a I guess getaway I'm gonna, vehicle. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pretend to be a, a drunk guest then and go and find the valet and ask him to go get my car and just okay. stand on the stand on the front uh, patio, uh, like staggering and and being belligerent to other guests. Let's make a deception check for that belligerence. <laughs> belligerence. Do you, do you inform the other ones that you're doing this? No, they okay. just have to trust me. I feel me. like we could hear too. Probably ask for the car. Um, and like, have, have, you, have, you left your, have you left your channel on, or did you turn your channel off? I'd probably leave it on just so that they have some idea okay. of what I might sure. be getting myself into. So, um, and that is that is four. The valet brings the car up and says, "Oh, here you go. Are you sure you're safe to drive?" I not, I know what I'm doing. Hotel policy is to not let anyone inebriated drive. Do you need an Uber? <laughs> <laughs> Look, this is my car. This is Have my, we shown up my, yet? My, my 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 briefcase. I'm mm, take the briefcase. I did not mm, say anything about touching your briefcase, ma'am. Mm, I my briefcase. My car. I I'm, think that he's he does like a little, like like little radio is like there's a guest who is very intoxicated that needs to be assisted. And so you can I, I have apologize. Had... I'm going to have to ask that you step over here and we will be happy to call you a car, but we can't well, allow you to leave in this state. What's the matter with you, man? I just want to go for a drive I'm like you know, the safety of everyone here is paramount to me, and I cannot let someone so inebriated go. Can you find my friends? I don't know who your friends are, but I can ask for them. Right. Okay, so he pulls you aside, they take your car away. <laughs> Great job! <laughs> And they go they to a, a, like, a, like, a, like an car. I know how many scratches are on my car. If you scratch my car, I'm going to beat you in the face. Ma'am, I don't appreciate threats of violence. And um, I will take you over to the information desk. You and I'm sure they can help you find, my car. find your friends. All right. Well, here you go. And he, he dumps you off at an information desk where... Can we hear all this? No, of course. Okay. Morgan, thank you so much for coming to rescue me. I know you didn't have to do that, but I just wanted to let you know... I really, really appreciate it. Oh, oh, well, you have it well in hand. You're such an excellent, excellent agent. Oh, I feel the same way about you, Regina. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, as you, you guys are having, having this conversation, you uh, make a, both of you make a danger roll. You can make a danger roll, too. Danger roll, danger roll. 
Damn it! Three. One. Four. So the two of you do not notice, but Yvette, you see coming from the elevator is looking slightly drugged out, but angry is Dr. Alexander Thorne and his two guards. And he says, I, I don't know what she did. Spread out. We, we must find her and we must find the case. I, we cannot let it leave. We, this is of utmost importance. I cannot pay you if you do not. If you, we do not find that case. And so they are spreading out and he uh, is going to be looking for you and he locks eyes on Regina. Morgan's going to cut the power. Okay, and cut the power to the <laughs> entire casino floor as you're towards the lobby. Everything goes dark. A bunch of people scream. I have eight. We have eight seconds. Get the hell out of here. So you guys run, um, I assume. Where are you running towards? What are you doing? Running towards the... I would assume we were just running towards the exit where the car would be. Okay, yeah. They probably haven't pulled the car away yet. Yeah. Because um, this happened so quickly. So everybody make another danger roll for me. I'm not using that dice again. Three. Three. Two. Two. Okay. Three. Three. Yvette and Morgan, you are making it to the car. You're able to jump into the front of the car, Morgan, and you don't notice until you both are in the car that Regina is trailing far behind and you see as the light from outside kind of filters and you can see the form of Alexander grabbing Regina's arm and pulling her her towards him and saying what did you do with my case? What did you do to me? Can I take his arm and flip him over my body? Uh, make a danger roll. <laughs> yes, Hell please. Yeah. Absolutely. And let me know how many successes you get. One four. You are easily able to flip him over your shoulder and he says, oh god fuck. I'm so sorry I had to do this, hon, but I got a job to do. I really did think we had a connection, but work comes first. I, what did you do with my, my case? I am I'm ruined without that. I'm so sorry, hon, but we needed it. Okay, so you say that as he starts to try to get up. Are you running away or are you just standing there and having a conversation? I'm going to karate chop him in the jugular. <laughs> and to knock him in the carotid artery to knock him out okay. again. And then I'm going to. Okay, make run a danger. For the one car. last danger roll. But I'm going to leave a, one of my earrings on his chest. Okay, uh, oh. remember me. Bye. Hopefully there's no DNA on it. <laughs> Maybe that's how he could find me, using science so we can be together. <laughs> Just it's kidding. to me. No. You'll use my earring Unfortunately, DNA. Unfortunately, hon, I have eyes for someone else. Four, baby. Okay, yeah, you got it. You cry, you cry chop him. Um, his guards are fumbling around the darkness, and the lights are beginning to come back on as you race out, you jump in the car. Morgan, I assume you're driving. You're, yes. You're pulling away in the vehicle, and you all have escaped with the briefcase. Woo Incredible. You all have a sigh of relief. You get back to the agency. You give them the drugs. The mission was a success. Can I grab Morgan and kiss her? But I forgot I'm wearing the lipstick still. <laughs> well, you know what? Well, Morgan is going to, she sees Regina approaching and I mean, she's into it, but she also cast a look over at Yvette. Like, are you checking this? Are you seeing this? I think we're hurt. both looking at Yvette. <laughs> yeah. Does it hurt? Does it hurt? It should hurt. And then, of course, you kiss me. And it's amazing. And I'm like, oh, my God. And then you fall unconscious. And then I fall unconscious. <laughs> oh, crack your head yeah. And I say, they're always falling for me. <laughs> it's so good. And that is where we shall end. <laughs> the Avengers are shot. <laughs>whether or not we completed our yes list. let's do our debrief did you complete your what were your secret missions holly slash morgan try to make an ex jealous or a person you're interested in jealous incredible yes so i took that to just as long as she was jealous yeah. of somebody and the other one is i was certain someone was a double agent stopped them from ruining the mission the only leeway i got on that was to be like is she really falling for this guy is she gonna mm -hmm. fuck us over so i don't think i f accomplished that well but. the thing is that you didn't find you partially accomplished it because you didn't find out who the mole was or anything like that a double agent was but you also the mission was a success all right what about regina i also had to try to make an ex a person i'm interested in jealous
and I'd prove I was a better agent than the rest, which I don't know that I did, but I did do a lot of work. You, you did, did do a lot of work. You did. You did. The mission on my slender shoulders. You did. You, you did. definitely are in line for the promotion. Absolutely. Hooray. And then um, we go to a sad yeah. drinking event <laughs> at, a, at a lonely bar smoking yeah. a cigarette. So I had to uh, try to win back an ex or seduce someone you're interested in, and I didn't feel that I got that one at nope. all. And... I was also supposed to eliminate or destroy the asset and make it look like an accident. Oh. Uh, which, no. unfortunately, uh, Yvette had a bad yeah, night. But was, Yvette's uh, cover wasn't blown I was, either. I was trying to get my, my ass thrown in jail with that. Uh, yeah. with that oh, yeah, that's so, you, know, <laughs> you know, they were going towards that route, but then they were like, well, you seem like you're rich with this fancy car, so. Uh, well, when you started, when you were like, I'm going to be drunk and belligerent, I was like, she's trying to sabotage it, but I can't figure out why. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. you were the. I was trying okay. to get somebody yeah. to take okay. the case. Oh, that was very good. But the other thing is, though, while that was not a successful mission, you did not also blow your cover. So you, there may be other opportunities. Mm. And the you know, we're both still Shack. digging you because we're trying so hard to make you yeah, jealous. Yeah, it's true. No, you know, that's what I mean. Yes, I'm alone. Oh, you've and what of poor Dr. Alexander? Well, yeah, what happened to him? Dr. Alexander Thorne decided to get out of the pharmaceuticals industry oh, after his attempt him. to. To, to strike it rich in his weird affair with this strange woman with only had an earring to find her by, but he dedicated his time to the forensic sciences, oh. trying oh. to find who this mysterious woman was. The only lead was the earring and the canned tuna business. Ah, uh, <laughs> the tuna haberdashery business. <laughs>